Hi, I'm Gabe Miller, 3A Certified Conformance Evaluator, or CCE. I inspect food processing equipment to verify that it meets the requirements of the 3A sanitary standards. The purpose of this training module is to provide the basics of surface finish measurements on equipment used to process food products. Why is surface finish important? The surface finish of product contact materials is critical in food processing equipment because rough surfaces provide harborage sites for microbes and are difficult to clean. Human pathogens and spoilage organisms can hide in crevices and form biofilms which can attach to rough surfaces. Listeria monocytogenes bacteria range from 0.4 to 0.5 micron in length and from 0.5 to 2 micron in width. Salmonella are approximately 2 micron in length and 0.5 micron in diameter. Thus, the surfaces must be smooth and free of cracks and crevices where organisms can survive the cleaning and sanitizing processes. So, some definitions. Originally, the criteria for surface finish was a number four finish achieved by using abrasive sandpapers between 120 and 320 grit abrasive finish, depending on the application. Some older standards still may refer to a number four finish. This was further defined in later standards as a 150 grit finish properly applied. With the availability of profilometers or <coughs> surface roughness testers, we can now measure the actual resulting surface finish. The maximum roughness permitted for most components is 32 micro inch or 0.8 micron RA. This is the same criteria defined in the European eHedge standards as well, because microbes really don't care about your nationality. Roughness average, the RA, is the average profile of the peaks and valleys of the surface within a sampling length, typically 1 quarter inch or 6.4 millimeter. A 2B finish is the mill finish on stainless steel equipment achieved by cold rolling, heat treating, and pickling along with the application of a light rolling to achieve a smooth and reflective sheen. 2B finishes meet the requirements of the 3A standards if they have the surface roughness measured less than 32 micro inch or 0.8 micron RA and are free of pit scratches and other defects. So let's measure some surface finishes. The surface finish on stainless steel surfaces cannot be evaluated or determined just by looking at it. Some stainless steel appears to be very shiny, looks like it's very smooth. Some of it appears very dull, does not appear to be smooth. Uh, so it is very important that we measure the surface finish to determine what it actually is. We measure the surface finish on stainless steel and plastic surfaces with a profilometer or surface roughness tester. The profilometer has a stylus, much like the stylus on old record players, for anyone old enough to remember them. And the stylus slides over the surface, and it has a small point that rides up and down in the grooves to measure the average height between the peaks and the valleys. This particular profilometer can be set in RA or RZ, roughness average is what we measure in here. Uh, it can be calibrated, and we can also adjust the distance that it slides over the surface. Um, we're going to do our measurements in inch units. However, we're going to calibrate it in metric because the standard that I have happens to be in metric. Before you start taking surface finish measurements, you need to calibrate your profilometer to ensure that it's reading correctly. There's no sense in doing the measurements only to find out that it wasn't reading correctly to begin with. The standard that was sent along with this profilometer is rated at 1.75 micron RA, so that is what I'm going to do my uh, calibration at. So I've set it up, the stylus you can't see moving, it's underneath the small gray part at the left end of the device, but it's moving across the surface, and it gives your reading 
uh, that if it matches the uh, standard that you have, you know that it is reading correctly and it's in calibration. So in this case, I know that I can now take my surface finish measurements. To measure the surface finish with the profilometer, we place the device on the surface, measuring across the peaks and valleys so that we're measuring the high and low points to get a roughness average. And when the device gets completed with its cycle, it gives us a readout in either micro inch or microns. The standard is 32 micro inch RA is the maximum surface finish permitted. And although this particular piece of stainless steel appears to be very shiny and very stainless, it is actually over double the RA finish that is permitted. This particular piece of stainless steel component does not appear to be well polished. You can see some visible machining marks. However, when we measure the surface finish, we actually get a reading that is below the 32 micro inch RA finish that is permitted. So this particular piece of stainless steel does meet the standard. To demonstrate the difference in the measurement direction, we're going to measure the same piece of stainless steel across the grain and then I'll measure it with the grain. When I measure it across the grain, this particular area gives me a roughness average of 47 micro inches. But when I measure the same piece of stainless steel in the direction of the machine tool marks, the reading that I get is very different than when I measure across the grain. It's roughly half of the RA surface finish that I got measuring across the grain. So it is very crucial to measure across the grain and not with the grain of either the machining or the polishing. This is a spider from a check valve that was cast initially and then it was mechanically polished. And we need to check to make sure that the surface finish meets the 3A standard. And as you can see from the measurements, it comes out at 41 micro inch RA, which is rougher than what is permitted. This is a spider from a similar check valve that was cast and then it was machined and polished. And we will find out what the surface finish is again, measuring across the grain. This one measures at 21.73, so it is significantly lower than the maximum roughness average surface finish that we allow. So even though these two spiders from different check valves look very similar in appearance, the one on the right does not meet the surface finish requirement. The one on the left does meet the surface finish requirement of 32 RA micro inch. After I've done my surface finish measurements, I'm going to recalibrate the profilometer just to verify that it is still reading correctly after I've taken the various measurements to ensure that I don't have an error in my readings. So the standard is 1.75 micron. I'm reading 1.76 uh, within the variation of normal measurements that is really close. Welded sanitary tubing joints are difficult to measure because they have waves like ocean swells and they are on round surfaces. However, if the welds have full penetration, free of pits, folds, crevices, cracks, and misalignments, they are accepted in the as-welded interior surface finish as per AWS D18-1. Welded sanitary joints in tanks, vessels, and other equipment with full penetrations, free of pits, folds, crevices, cracks, and misalignments, may also have an as-welded interior surface finish as per AWS D18-3. On many plastic components, the surface can be measured in the same way as we measure on stainless steel, but the maximum roughness is 63 micro inch RA or 1.6 micron. However, we cannot measure the surface finish on rubber components because it is soft. So for rubber, we rely on close visual inspection and verification that the molds used to form the components also have the required surface finish. So now you know how easy it is to verify the surface finish on sanitary equipment. Thank you for watching. Thank you.